<laughs> Hello children, welcome to the Kids to Fat to Show. My name is Sina. <laughs> Number you remember, yes. I have three beautiful names. One, two, three beautiful names. Welcome to the Kids to Fat to Show. How are you children? I know you're already back to school and you're soaking in. Mm, I hope school is treating you well. I know your teachers are excited. Every time it's time to go back to school, we are happy to see you. I hope you're excelling. Bananga concentrate. Switch your minds back. Njagala nemba juki zanti now. It's school setting. Hmm. So children, hmm. This week we're going to be talking about who can guess. Hmm. Ana so guessinga. Ani ani. Hmm. This week we're going to be talking about values. What are values? Values. Bibi abi into we do every two every two every nine. I'm must be many. But we're going to be having lessons. Masao. A talk show of different children sharing. Hmm. And you will learn something from there. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Bye for now. We are going to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are going to jump. have a game we are going to do this game is called to the red and to the white what's the name of the game to the red and to the white to the red to the white so there are two colors we are going to uh, be talking about in this game so i want you to make a choice choose which color you want white white for you want white yes so if he, she is white then definitely you are Red. Good. Let me look at the difference of mine. Which color are you choosing? Red. You are choosing red. So you are? White. White. Good. Now in this game, you are going to stretch your hand as if you are going to have a handshake. Okay? Yes. And listen attentively. I will be calling these colors. I will be calling you these what? Colors. colors. But the color I call last 
the color I call last. last. You must grab the hand of your pattern. When you grab that hand, you earn yourself a point. Yes. If you miss the hand, the other person you are supposed to grab the hand earns the point. So I want to see who will win more points. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. To the red, to the white, 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 to the red, to the white. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see how the game has fared on. Were you white? Yes. Did you grab her hand? No. No. So she earns a point because she's the red. Yes, 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 that is it. Uh huh. Who is the, the white? Either one. Did you grab his hand? Yes. Yes. You earn a point. Okay. Red, one point. Here, white, one point. Good. Thank you. Okay. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay. You can release the hands. Release the hands. One more time. Ready? To the red, to the white. 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 To the red. I got you first. Okay. 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 Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Did he catch you? No. So he misses that point. So you had, you have two points now. Okay. Did you catch her? Yes. Are you white? Yes, I caught her. Are yes. you red? What was that color? I mentioned. Red. 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 So was supposed to grab the hand. Red. Red or white? Red. Oh, red. So she grabbed you. Yes. No, I first grabbed her. I said the, the one, the color I mentioned last, you grab the hand. So two points. Two points for the red. Two points for white, white here. Okay, the final one. The final one. Please, please, white, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, move, move. come here, come here. You're going very far. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, one time. To the red, to the white, 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 to the... I'm still mentioning. This one. <laughs> I'm still mentioning. To the red, to the white, to the red, to the white, to the red, to the white, to the red. Hey, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Once you bring your hand and I get it, you lose the game. So, red, are you holding the hand? Now, for you, white, you're supposed to remove your hand. Yes, you're supposed to remove the, your hand. So again, they caught you. Red gets one more point. That is three. What about here? You did not catch my hand. You did not catch your hand. This one did not catch my hand. So again, here, white, you win another point. Yes. Wonderful. White, three points. Red, three points. Yeah, that has been our game. Uh, we are going to talk more about this game in our lesson. We are talking about the truth. There are two different colors here we'll be talking about. So, thank you so much for watching our games. Say bye bye to your friends as we go. See you later. Welcome to Kids 252 program. My name is Uncle Daniel Tivita. And we are very, very much privileged to have you today uh, watching this program. Uh, we are talking about values. Like in the previous game we had, we had two colors, the red and the white. So even when it comes to values, we usually have two choices, either good or wrong. But what are values? We say that values are a standard of right and wrong, good and bad. And a ruler reminds us about those values because it's used to measure uh, distance, it's used to measure how tall something is. So, uh, even us here, we have the Bible. Now, the Bible is God's word. And this Bible reminds us about the right values we are supposed to 
do as God is he, children. It has all the values, the right ones. You may be doubting which one you are supposed to take, but read the Bible. The Bible will give you the right values you are supposed to uphold as a child of God. Uh, so, today we have a special lesson. We are going to learn. And this lesson is about two people also that had uh, to choose to make a right value for their lives. And uh, before you can go to this, uh, uh, this story, I want us to read or get to know our value promise for today. And the value promise for today is I will choose right values for my life. I will choose good values for my life. That is the value promise for our lesson today. So my friends, God calls us, you and me, to make good values for our lives. So that is the value promise we have today. And we shall keep on repeating it as we move along our, our lessons. So like I told you that our lesson today is about two people who had to make uh, choices in their lives. And this is a familiar story. But let me get here and then we discuss this. So in this story, a familiar story in the Bible, Jesus gives a story about two men who chose to build their houses. By the way they built the houses, it had to depend on the values each one of them was choosing to follow. So, uh, you see here that the first man wanted to build a house and he had to make a choice where to build his house. So he sloped down to a swamp area, which is uh, having some sandy soil. You know, sandy soils are easy to dig. They are soft soils. So he chose to build his house on softy, sandy soils. And Jesus calls that he builder a foolish builder and then there is another builder who chose to build his house on a rock and he dug a foundation on the rock digging a foundation through the rock is not easy it's a hard task but this second builder whom just calls our builder decided to build his house on the rock on the stone and it was hard work. It was uh, tiresome to dig a foundation in such a, a ground. So all of them finished th their houses. So after some time, uh, after some time, it came to pass that it came to rain. So when it rained, the rain was full of storm, a strong storm, it was windy, and the rain was so, so much that these two houses were faced with the same uh, gravity of the rain and the storm. So the one that built his house on sand, the, when the house was tossed by the floods and the storm, it fell down and everything was uh, rush down to the stream. Sorry for this uh, builder. He lost his uh, house. But the same storm faced the same house that was on the rock. But the house which was on the rock, it stood to firm. At the end of the day, it remained standing. His house did not get flooded. His house he was not washed down stream because he had constructed his house on the rock. And Jesus 
tell this story and he concludes by saying that these two people had to make a choice. Now this story is found, let's read in the, in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. Matthew is found in the New Testament, chapter 7, verse 25. Let me quickly read there. Uh, verse 25 says, The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against the house, yet it did not fall, because it had its sea foundation or the rock. But verse 24 says, There are for everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a, a wise man who built his house on the rock. So this house here, it was tossed by it was tossed by the floods and the, and the wind, but it remained strong. So God calls us to be wise people and make the right choices. Let us choose good values. Now, children and others, it's always not easy to, to work. Some people want easy things. For example, as we are in school, teacher tells you to uh, revise your books, prepare for exams, and it's always hard when there's a TV to watch. You feel watching TV is easier and it's more entertaining, so you feel like not revising your books. But what are the end results? If you don't revise, if you don't work hard, you might fail the examination. So you better do what is right. Make the right choice. Choose good value. Some people may think that cheating exams is okay, but it has its implications. When you are caught, you're in trouble. But even, even when you're not caught, God is watching. So we have to choose right values. Okay? So the house that was on the... The house that was on the, on the rock survived. Now, I have a chart here which I want us, want us also to, to observe. We have friends here. And we have another group of friends here. They're in the class. I think they are doing exams. You see? So, this teacher seems not to be happy. This one is very happy. This one is not happy because there's somebody who is trying to make his neck longer. The giraffe neck. And trying to, teach, uh, to cheat exams from a friend. This is not a good value. It is a wrong value. It leads into trouble. God hates it. So let us not choose to do this. Let us choose the good value. Sit for your examinations. Prepare for your exams well. At home. Be part of what's happening in a home. If that tells you to uh, help with the chores at home, Please do that. That is a good value. Helping one another at home is good. Respecting our parents is a good value. Okay? Obeying our elders is a good value. Praying before you do everything is a good value. It pleases God. Okay? So let us not behave like eh? these friends of ours. Let us do what is right by choosing the right value. All right. So again, let us repeat our value promise. Our value promise again. I will choose good values for my life. That's what God wants us to do, to choose good values for our lives. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Now, I have some a few questions before we can close. Some a few questions. Let me ask this question. Do you know that every day you are building something more important than even a house? Every day you live. 
there's something you are building. Not just a house. Every day when you wake up, you go to school, you go, you come back home, you are building your life. So I want you to know that. So let me ask you a question. Are you building your life on the rock? Or you are building your life on the sun? Are you choosing the rock to be your foundation? And this rock is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the rock that we have to build our lives on. That when we are faced by troubles of this world, we shall not fall. We shall remain strong. Okay, so we need to choose and do what is right. Uh, I can ask a simple question. In what ways are you going to choose the choice of the wise builder? You as a child. What are you going to do in order to make sure that you follow the example of the wise builder? You can share with your friend there. Oh yes, those are good ideas. You are going to wash utensils. You are going to read the hard. You are going to revise your books. You are going to obey your parents. You are going to obey your teachers. You are going to go to church. You are going to pray. Those are good values for our lives. When we do that, we shall be like the wise builder, building our, our lives on the rock, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening. And as I end, let me pray. And we go. Hands together. I want us to pray that God will help us to make good choices for our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you for this morning that you have given unto us. We have been learning about values. And in life, there are good values and wrong values. Lord, our prayer is that you will help us, King of Glory, to choose good values for our lives. We have learned about the example of a good a wise builder. For him, he built a house. But Father, for us every day, remind us to know that we are building our lives. And we need to build our lives on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Teach us to follow your ways. Guide us, Father, always to choose good values for our lives, for the glory of your mighty name. We thank you and we bless you because we do pray, believing in Jesus' name, our Savior. And everybody says, Amen. Thank you so, so much for watching. It has been a pleasure having you. See you next Saturday, the same station, the same time. And want to send, send our, our thanks to our partners, uh, Africa Renewal Ministries. Thank you so much for uh, uh, supporting us. And the Gaba Community Church, Christ Select People, Transforming Society. See you next Saturday. Bye bye. Well, as we end, we are going to sing our I Believe song. This song was composed by Scripture in Uganda. So we really appreciate you, our dear friends, Scripture in Uganda, for composing such a wonderful song about uh, truth. So, Together, let us sing our song. children welcome to the kids 252 talk show my name is Sheena 
once again and i'm here <laughs> with a special guest and she's going to introduce herself to us and then we start off with our show i mean our talk show rather <laughs> what's your name my name is Arume Blessing. Mm. It's so nice having you here. Which school do you go to? I go to Maranatha Christian School. Where is Maranatha Christian School located? Maranatha Christian School is located at Gaba. Mm. Yeah. Gaba, where you got your home? At GCC. Mm. Yes. Uh, that was a test to see if you know where you study from, just to be sure. <laughs> but it seems you're well informed. Um, so this week we're going to be talking about values. Yeah. Mm? We're going to be sharing with the children because the children do not know what values are. Hmm? So you're going to help us explain to the children some of these things that are associated with values, okay? okay. So, first of all, what are values? Uh, values are a standard of right, mm -hmm. wrong, mm -hmm. good and bad. Yeah. Yes. So, what a standard of right? So called them. Values are a standard of right, Wrong, good, and bad. Right, wrong, good, and bad. Yes. Okay. What um, what 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 is the good and the bad? What is the right and the wrong? Um, mm. you know, right can be following God's commands, mm. and go wrong can be disobeying to what God says. Okay. Yeah. So, what are some of the values? What are some of the va the good values? You can choose, I can or you choose. can advise the children to choose. I can advise you, my fellow friends, to choose to obey God, mm -hmm. to transform others. You can transform others through preaching the word of Christ Jesus the Lord. Okay. Cause not that all the societies we live in, people know Christ Jesus the Lord. So you can transform others through mm -hmm. preaching the word of Christ. Mm -hmm. You can transform also others through bringing them to Gaba Community Church okay. because even me, that's how I came to know Christ Jesus the Lord from GCC. Oh, someone introduced you? Yeah. Who? That was my mother. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> yeah. So your mother is that someone who is also your friend? Yeah. So she introduced you to GCC? Yeah. What was your first experience like coming to church? I was very excited and happy mm -hmm. to know Christ Jesus the Lord, mm. yes. What were you thinking when you were coming here? Automatically, my friends were telling me that Christ Jesus mm. is the best friend one can have in life. Okay. And I said, wow, I was surprised about it. But when I come to know Christ Jesus the Lord, mm. I was excited and happy. And I accepted him as my personal Lord and Savior. Oh. How has life been since you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Life has been interesting and happy. Oh. We're so glad to hear that. So um, you're still telling us some of the values. First, you told us preaching the word. Mm -hmm. um, some of the good values we can choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can transform also others mm. through helping them mm. to accept Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. Okay. For me as an individual, mm -hmm. the society I live in, mm. most of my friends are not born again. But mm. because of the gospel of Christ I knew from GCC, mm. I helped myself mm. to preach the gospel to, of Christ to my friends. Mm. And they became saved. And I was excited about it. If I was not a Christian, hmm? mm. what would you tell me to I become a Christian? I, I mean, I want you to preach to me and convince me to become a born again. Now what I would tell you, mm -hmm. in life, mm -hmm. if you don't have peace, Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. I think things don't move well. But if you accept Christ Jesus the Lord, mm. things will move carpets. Mm. Do you know carpets? <laughs> carpets smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel like you don't want even to talk about anything mm. about Christ Jesus the Lord. Mm. You don't be stressed. Mm. Even if you get a problem, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, mm. I have my Savior who will deliver me from this problem. And that's Christ Jesus the Lord. And that's the reasons why. God sent his son to die for our sins on the cross. So that you can have a carpet life. Yeah. take it each into it. I am 100% convinced. 
So now that I have accepted that I'm going to accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior, I want you to pray for me. Me and that one who has also heard, because you aren't preaching to me alone, you're also preaching to someone out there, a child who doesn't know Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. So please pray for us, me and them. Hmm? Oh, I can't refuse such a blessing. Wanji. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's some our souls and pray. Mm. Dear loving Father, mm. who sent your son to die for our sins on the cross. Mm. I bring my fellow friends unto your presence because you are able, you are faithful, God. Mm. You have never been dishonest on our side. You have been always honest. Yes. I bring my fellow friends to you. Mm. I know you are going to make them. Mm receive you as their Lord and personal Savior. Mm. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. That's a very powerful prayer with very powerful words. Thank you so much. So I hope now this is a blessing. She accepted the blessing and she shared the blessing. I mean, not, not very many people often have such opportunities to, eh, to receive such anointing from people like you. Oh. How do you feel when you pray for people? I felt good and free. So that's one value of you preaching the gospel. Yeah. And I, one of my, as in what I feel, mm. I feel like all the world could know how Jesus Christ is powerful. Because mm. I would love them to move also on a carpet life. Wow. Yeah. Um, so what are some of those wrong values you think children choose? Uh, Mm. What I used to discover from my friends mm. when they had not yet received Christ Jesus as their Lord and mm. personal Savior, mm. they used to have bad character, mm. like they used to abuse, okay. disrespect elders, mm. but when I preached to them the gospel, mm. they turned to the right thing, okay. which was good and interesting. Wow. Yeah. So I want to ask you something. What does it take for someone to choose good values? Are there steps? Is there a way? Of course there is a way. Okay. Uh, what I can tell you, my fellow friends, mm. no one is perfect on this earth. Yes. But Christ Jesus the Lord mm. can help you mm. be perfect. Okay. So that you don't sin against his Father God. Mm. That's what I can tell you. You can always pray because the devil and the enemy mm. tries hard and hard to see that God's people are not on his side. But mm. still, when you walk by faith and not by sight, mm. nothing will be impossible in your life. Hallelujah. You will truly do the perfect thing and the right thing. What will happen to you if you chose good values? Automatically, how I told you, mm. you feel free. Because mm -hmm. you know, mm. when you do the right thing, always, can't you agamba muluganda? Can't you tell me this? And you, no, can't eh, na kola chino, na kola chino. But when you mm. do the right thing, you say, Oh, mm. I did the right thing. Even if you do the bad thing, when someone asks you and you truly speak mm. the truth, mm. you know the Bible says that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free, mm. which is a hundred and a hundred percent correct. Yes, it is. When you really talk the truth, the truth sets you free. Because mm. they are my friends, mm. when they do the wrong thing, mm -hmm. when their parents come back and ask them, they say, Mommy, I did this and this. <laughs> and they ask for forgiveness. Okay. Instead of beating them, they just forgive them. <clears throat> Let me ask you. I want to ask you something before you continue. Eh? Okay. Are there times you felt like it's hard to tell the truth, but you have to tell the truth? Yes, of course. Can you share with us that experience and what you went through when, you, when that happened to you? Uh, it was one day mm -hmm. when my mother trusted me with a certain amount of money. Okay. And that was 50,000. Okay. And she told me to put it in her bag. Mm. So I was scared. I said, oh, mommy might remove her money in the bag and takes it and says that mm. I took her money. Okay. And I put it in my bag. Mm -hmm. So when she asked me, mm. oh, 
I went in my bag, I checked, I checked, I checked, I couldn't find The money wasn't there? The money wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I started asking myself, who removed the money? Who mm. removed the money? And I told her, you know, mommy, <coughs> I'm very Excuse sorry. Uh, you told me to put the money in your bag, but I never did so. Mm. And she forgave me. She forgave you. In your mind, what were you thinking when you went to tell your mom that the money she had told you to put in her bag, you had put it in her bag? Did you have thoughts like, Of course, I had those thoughts. Mm, what gave you the courage to go? But I remembered the Bible tells us that when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Mm. And I just decided to let it go. Mm. And I gained confidence when I read that scripture. Mm. And I told her the truth. <laughs> okay, back to, the, back to what happens to you when you choose the good values. Mm -hmm. When I choose the good values, mm -hmm. I gained that confidence mm. when I know I am firm in the word of Christ Jesus the Lord. You know, at GCC, mm. we have a belief that we are rooted in the word of Christ Jesus the yes, Lord. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, that made me gain confidence that mm. when you always do the right thing, you don't get scared, afraid, and just be free. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. So what happens to people that choose the wrong values? Some people steal money. Mm. And when you steal that money, it may be your parents, your mm. friends. Mm. And when they ask you, who stole my money? You lie. That person might, mightn't say that who mm. stole, but mm. who will say, who picked my money? And we just say, no, 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 it wasn't me, it wasn't <laughs> me. But mm. you'll be afraid, mm. scared, mm. you say, oh, when is this person, this? you will not be with peace of mind. Mm. So what I would advise you, my fellow friends who are watching, you should always stick on the word of God. If it can't happen in your life, ask for, for God. Because he has the power, he can make you be perfect. Thank you so much, Blessing, for sharing with us. You've blessed us, by the way. You're such a blessing. Yes. Um, uh, children, I hope you've heard from Blessing and everything she had to share with us. Um, she said values are standard of good and bad, right or wrong. So, um, and she told us the benefits of having the good values and the wrong values. Hmm? Kati gogenda sala ochi, nze nga nze, ukusinzila ukusala jena sabi wa neno ne blessing. Nda sala o good values, because when you choose good values, ube na nemi de embe first of all, aine bilabi ya teo gede kunzi mingi ndo kugeda ku. You attain favor from people, you become such a blessing, like blessing. There are so many good benefits that come with choosing good values because when you do the right thing, everyone loves the right thing. Ani ati agala mtu akola chirunji. Now we namu kano kogo ya agala kusomero kubanga akola ebirunji. Now I want you to challenge yourself to go back home and check yourself. Do a self evaluation on yourself. Ask someone. Neka tigula ba ne santia. Ne santia. Go under ba man ne santia. Then your friend, or maybe if Blessing is my friend and I spend a lot of time with her, she will tell me, you know what, Shina, you do this and it's not nice and you need to change, okay? And then I start working on myself. So I'm challenging you today to also go back, challenge yourself, like, you know, the exact thing I'm talking about and be a better person in society. Learn how to work with people. Me, my greatest challenge was anger management. When I'm angry, I don't talk to you. I don't. But I've, I've, it's been a, a challenging time I think for me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
all the good values zo mani ne woba omuntabera perfect but in Christ you become a perfect person how do you become a perfect person you need to pray about it she said the devil doesn't <coughs> sit you need to pray about it you need to practice abam baine mikwane mibi you see aha you need to change so your friends you need to recognize the peers you are working with yes yeah. yes, need, yes that is very true yes change your environment change your friends be keen i mean even the words you choose to speak are very important thank you so much for sharing that has been us my name is Menshina and this is blessings and bye to the children bye Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the show and everything we had to share with you today. <laughs> so, you people had blessing. She's such a blessing. She prayed for us. Fabao de batana ba kukiriza Yesu Kristo ngo mlokozi wafe. Atusabi de omwano ya atusabi de banange na atuomksa. Nange can you believe it, you guys? <laughs> I feel blessed. I feel so blessed. I hope you're also blessed wherever you are. Anyways, um, I hope you've also learned something. Katigwari yo, ngori yo waka o today, oli neva zadevo, muize yo chi. Atatu na genda maso, mhm. Mumbuli den zagala kuli ya answer zamu. Muize yo chi, tuize tu sumiye bintu bingi, right, wrong, good, bad. Mubyo na muize mu chi. Tu genda tu ala chiri wa. Are we taking the good or the bad? Hmm, the right or the wrong? I believe we're taking the good and the right. Hmm. Through thick and thin. To get the gaza kunga etsobola. To collect chirunji. To collect etch too full. Mmm. So I can't wait to see you next week. But before I go on to send special shouts out to Kanoni, Kadiwa, Kogalanyo, and to send shouts out to Rita, Kadiwa, and to send shouts out to Angel, Kadiwa. And to send shout out to Raymond and Emma. Thank you for always watching the show. And also, uh, we a special shout out to Muga Galera behind the camera. Thank you so much. And uh, without forgetting to thank Africa Renewal Ministries and Gaba Community Church for sponsoring this show. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, bye. See you next week.